Welcome back to your Flame Fundamentals training. Now before you start creating projects and dive headfirst into Flame, I thought it might be beneficial to you to cover some additional settings and preferences. Now admittedly it can get a bit boring. However, this will help you to tell if your background services are running, how to force quit Flame as well as configure various video devices and storage. You are welcome to skip this video if you are not interested, but it will help with configurations and checking Flame's health. Now Flame comes bundled with a couple auxiliary applications that can help check as well as configure the underlying setup. Go to your Flame application and take a look inside the Utilities folder. The first app I'd like you to launch is the Service Monitor. As the name says, this will display all the background services that Flame requires in order to run properly. So you have six components that are running and as long as the lights are not red, things should be fine. For whatever reason, you may need to stop, start or restart a service. This is where you can kickstart the services in a friendly manner. If you do encounter any problems with Flame, such as completely freezing or a possible issue, instead of using the Apple Force Quit, we recommend going to the troubleshooting menu of the Service Monitor and quitting Flame from here. It's a much better way and you can also send the logs from Flame to us if we need to investigate something to do with your system. No personal information, just the messaging from Flame. The second application in the Utilities folder has more to do with some underlying Flame configurations. So opening the Flame Setup application, you land in the General tab where you can configure any attached video and audio interface that we currently support. This is then followed by the Preview tab where you would enable the various timings supported by your interface in order to display Flame's output on a broadcast monitor. Finally, if you switch to the Media Storage tab, this will show your configured storage that you have set up for Flame. This is essentially your media folder on your storage to contain proxies, optimized media and renders. When creating a new storage volume, you would do so in the project creation window within the Flame application. But if you need to edit these settings for whatever reason, you can do it here. Generally you shouldn't have to touch this, but now you know where the configurations are kept. Ok, hopefully that wasn't too painful, but at least you know the configuration basics. There are some other settings, but you shouldn't need to worry about them in normal circumstances. Go ahead and start Flame and move on to the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.